Uh, so we are back here on, on part 2 of our Mask Behind Text tutorial in DaVinci Resolve. If you want to watch the part 1, see the link in the description or click on the upper right corner of this video. So today I'm going to show you how to mask behind text when your background is not black or white. But first click on the subscribe button and turn the bell notification to get notified for future updates. So we're going to reuse the elements that we had last time. Text on top of our solid color and on top of our main video clip. Selecting the text and the solid color and make it into one compound clip. But first we need to change the solid color to, um, let's say, orange. Select these two elements and we'll just name it to masked text. We'll try the darken composite mode, um, so it's not really completely doing its job. Uh, likewise with the screen composite mode, and we'll test out that nothing under the composite co the composite mode is going to work here. Now that we tested different composite modes and none of it worked, the way I would do it is to go to our color tab by clicking the color tab down here. Once there, the first thing I'm going to do is to add alpha output. Right click anywhere in the nodes area window, select add alpha output in the drop down. Then it's going to create this blue dot in our nodes window. Then we will link the alpha channel to our alpha output. This, this blue square here is the alpha output. And what it does is that whatever we masked out on our nodes we will, will be opaque or will be invisible. So next thing is select the quali next thing is select the qualifier icon on our timeline. Select anywhere the white text on our clip to mask it out. Now it's go it's not going to work at first. See, selecting the white text to spare it from masking out. Oh, and by the way, you can select this unmix button here to see a preview of our final result. And we could see the text on top of our video clip just like a normal video with uh, a label on it. What we're gonna do instead is to invert the qualifier by clicking this icon invert. Now we see it's working, but, but it has these weird white horizontal stripes. The way to solve this is to play around with the matte finesse section. And for this, I'm going to give value on clean black. There you have it guys. I hope you learned something in this simple tutorial. For our next video, for our next episode, we are going to do some effect that could be useful if you are a werewolf. See you on the next video and be safe.